Hey, what's up guys? I did a bit of a time lapse here. Um, I haven't done a time lapse or a tutorial in a while, so it's going to be kind of meshed together. I forgot to mention I'm DevHub, if you didn't know me. Um, once again, this video is being sort of made a little bit late, but I'd like to thank you all for 50 subscribers. And this is sort of like my thank you video, but I've been stumped on what I should create. So this is what I've came up with. I've decided to make a player compass utilizing the action bar API, which will then convert into our own plugin instead of having to get people to download both the API and our plugin. We're going to utilize that in our plugin and create sort of a nearest player compass. And then it'll tell you the distance away from them you are. So, on that note, let's get started. Hope you enjoy the video. Um, I'm probably not going to leave this webcam on, so I hope you guys enjoy. And yeah, hope you learned something from this video. Have a good day. Shorter, like a banner, G, I'll conquer In my soul, this is real These nights are getting shorter In my soul, this is real
Alrighty guys, so let's test this out, make sure there's no errors. That compass and then, yep. Seems to load up just fine, so let me go into multiplayer. Get this, log in. Oh, I'm being myself. I was testing something. Mistake on my part. That wasn't being handled as an event. Of course. Well, something basic like that, isn't it? Okay, so there's some debugging for you. That's how you debug. Obviously, you should know that. It's pretty basic stuff. So. I'm going to wait for this to complete and then walk around. Hmm. Maybe if we do this real quick. See if we can get any entities at all. Make sure there's no errors again in the console. Apply compass. Nothing new. I'm not sure it is locating our little friends. Here, find some sheep. Ooh, what's going on there? Oh no, this is new, might be some grief on the old server. We didn't get a lot of grief around these times. Let me know if you'd like to get the server back, because I still have every, all the data. And I'm just working on this. Some reason it didn't work, but um, I don't have another player, so um, I'll cut this video here, and then I'll get another player and log on and see if it works. Alright, be right, back. Alright, I'm back. I'm just waiting for this laptop to boot up so we can see if it works. Um, so yeah, about the service, let me know if you guys maybe want to see it, because I'd be willing to bring it back up, um, once I get enough funds, knowing that you guys will want to play it all 56 of you, because you better, you better play it. Exploring, I should probably put it. Alright guys, sorry about that, um, unfortunately now this computer has to update, so I'll come back soon.
So I figured out the problem. For now, um, I just put the uh, action bar API in the properties in the build path. So we're just going to run off there. So make sure you put that both in your plugins and your properties. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to add a space in here. And also, instead of get online players size, we want to change this to 200, which is the blocks away. So now we'll export that and give this a reload. Now, once we reload it, we